Nintendo made another new announcement, but it's still not the next console. Two popular indie games launched a cute collaboration, and Disney Dreamlight Valley shared exciting news at their latest showcase. All this and more today. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, bringing you the latest gaming news with Sunny Side Up. Today is November 4th, 2024, so let's get started with our first major headline. Nintendo announced their new smart device application, Nintendo Music, where you can listen to tracks from your favorite games by streaming or downloading your favorites to the app for offline listening. Nintendo Music features a variety of tracks from popular franchises such as Animal Crossing, The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario, and many more. You can listen to curated playlists based on different themes, moods, in-game moments, and even characters. Of course, you can also create your own playlists with all of your favorites. Interestingly, there's also a spoiler prevention setting which will filter out music from specific games you've yet to play, which is a really thoughtful touch. Another really neat feature is that you can extend the length of some tracks and of course loop them so you can spend more time with a particular song, which is great for background ambiance in your day-to-day -day routines. Additionally, more music will be added to the library over time, so there'll be more to look forward to. Nintendo Music is available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members, so it's nice to see that they're adding more value to the memberships that are required for online gameplay. Among the Wild is an upcoming first-person farming game where you wrangle fantastical creatures, build and manage your own idyllic farm, and set out to explore uncharted corners of a strange universe. The game was first revealed earlier this year, and since since then, the team has been hard at work and have now shared a look behind the scenes at their progress in preparation for the first closed alpha test. First, we were able to take a glimpse at some of the world's beautiful biomes, along with the four seasons of spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The team also shared a look at the game's freeform building system with optional snapping, angled rotations, and fence technology that will allow pieces to snap to uneven ground. They also shared that they're working on their questing system, along with improvements to the world's marketplace which ties into the lore and story. A first look at some of the world's enemies was also provided, and most importantly, the adorable hats feature was showcased. Controller support for the game was also confirmed, and the team shared plans for the closed alpha test to take place in late November, with more information coming soon. If you're interested in signing up, you can still do so on their official website if you'd like to take an early look at the game. Now it's time for our next major headline. Gogo Town and Dinkum shared that these two cute and chaotic games have been working in collaboration for their latest content updates. In Gogo Town, you will be able to build a new trader area that will regularly attract wandering merchants, bearing new stalls and items unique to them, and you might even recognize a few familiar faces. Ted will also bring a huge variety of Dinkum-inspired goodies, including Bird of Paradise flowers, Jackaroo statues, and recipes for some favorite foods. The yellow wattle bush will also become available, opening up a whole new avenue of wattle products. Apparently, John, Fletch, and Irwin will also all visit, and you'll have the option for them to settle down in Gogo Town, where they can live and work just like any other townsfolk. There's also a brand new bakery build, a candy floss cart, and a rideable Vombat mount. How adorable. Over in Dinkum, you'll be able to encounter one of Gogo Town's agents. The requirements for this encounter are to have John's shop built, and they'll only turn up if no one is currently in your visitor's site anytime after 10 o'clock a.m. in-game. If you manage to track down the agent, you'll be able to craft a number of Gogo Town inspired furniture items, including the iconic Trinacornsicle. You can also craft gonuts, but be sure to bury these in the ground so you can grow your very own gonut bushes, which looks so cute and tasty. If you'd like to take a closer look at some of the new content or find out exactly where that Vombat mount is located, I'll have my stream replay taking a first look at both updates linked in the video description. Solarpunk, the upcoming calm survival crafting game set in a technically advanced world of floating islands, shared a look behind the scenes at their latest work on the title's energy system. Players will be able to use solar panels and wind turbines to power all sorts of gadgets, like running your weather system or keeping your house lit. 
The team has also added an electrical network info display into the game that's designed to be user-friendly and not overwhelming, however still detailed enough for those who would like to create more complex energy setups. Essentially, you will connect devices like lights or sprinklers to the power grid using cable connectors, and you can monitor your power consumption to ensure you have enough energy available. You can also store away extra energy in batteries to save it for later, which will be especially useful for cloudy or wind-still days when you might not generate enough power. Two new automation devices have also been added, one for fishing out loot from lakes with a magnet, and one for drilling to gather resources from rock formations. We were also able to preview some of the new building materials that will be available, wood, brick, and glass, with the ability to combine all three materials together. Tons of new decorative pieces have also been added to the catalog to better personalize your cozy home, and even stackable hedges and bushes, which look amazing to design with. Now it's time for our final major headline. Disney Dreamlight Valley hosted an exciting showcase sharing what awaits players in the Valley's next chapter and beyond. First, let's cover the content for the base game's next free update. Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas will be arriving in the valley, bringing her signature patchwork style as part of the So Delightful update. Along with her arrival, players can enjoy a new series of friendship quests and special rewards. And of course, this update will also bring a new star path that will embrace the ethereal sides of the winter season, bringing ice-adorned furniture and even a wand that produces snowflakes. How magical is that? An exciting new feature called Floating Islands will also become available, which will act as additional spaces parallel to the valley where players can decorate and let their creativity run free. Each biome in the valley will have its floating counterpart, which will be rolled out over time. The So Delightful update will introduce the plaza, forest, sunlit, and frosted floating islands and will be unlocked using Dreamlight. Any furniture, houses, and villagers you've unlocked will be accessible to bring to these islands, and you won't have to worry about tidying up. You'll even be able to travel to floating islands during your valley visits with your friends. Finally, greater control for item placement will be possible, with 16 degrees of rotation becoming available for furniture, buildings, landscape items, resources, and even dropped items, which will be amazing for more freedom with your designs. The So Delightful update will be releasing free for all players on December 4th, and honestly, it looks pretty good. Next up in the showcase, the team shared a look at the next content roadmap for free updates for the first half of 2025. In early 2025, players can explore a new world and revel on a magical adventure, which hints at Aladdin and Princess Jasmine. In spring 2025, players can step into a land of wonder and meet new friends along the way, which appears to tease Alice in Wonderland with the Cheshire Cat. And finally, in summer of 2025, players will solve an ancient mystery and discover who's waiting inside Skull Rock. Who do you think it could be? Then launching on November 20th, the game's second paid expansion pass called The Storybook Veil vale, offers players a whole new adventure full of new friends, quests, companions, and more surprises. This expansion also introduces a new royal net tool for catching origami snippets, puzzle tapestries to piece together, and special quests called Trials, which must be solved using your royal tools. The expansion will be released in two parts, but will both be included if you choose to make the purchase on its own or as part of various different bundles, depending on what content you already own. I'm personally most excited to play through the free content update in December because I've personally been skipping the paid expansions and just focusing on enjoying the base game without making additional purchases. But what about you? Coming up this week, Mirthwood, an enchanting RPG life sim set in a medieval fantasy world, is releasing on November 6th for PC via Steam. Whether you're up for an epic adventure or would prefer a more laid-back life on your homestead, Mirthwood offers a wide variety of intriguing and promising features, including character creation, farming, combat, adventure, and more. Crash Goblin, a cozy shopkeeping game where you uncover, repair, clean, and upcycle trinkets, is releasing on November 6th into early access for PC via Steam. Sell your creations to a cast of colorful characters and spend your earnings on upgrading your shop and services. Magical Bakery, a cooking and management game, is releasing on November 7th for PC via Epic and Steam on Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and the Nintendo Switch, with physical editions available for all consoles. Start your culinary 
extraordinary adventure as a young trainee of the Academy of Magical Bakers, experience a life full of magic, challenges, and the joy of creating sweets that will leave a spellbinding impression on your customers, and Mario and Luigi Brothership, a brand new island hopping adventure on the high seas, is releasing on November 7th for the Nintendo Switch. When the Unitree is destroyed and the world of Concordia is broken apart, Mario and Luigi must try to reconnect a fractured world one island at a time. But what will you be playing this week and what new announcements are you most excited for? Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Please make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on for weekly episodes of Sunny Side Up. Shine that lovely like button to help support the series. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all and until next time, take care.